What's up guys, so today we're going to do a tutorial on how to set up your MSI Afterburner uh, recording device because I've seen that there are a lot of questions about this uh, this kind of thing so um, you will have the link in the description uh, of this video from where you can download the software, it's absolutely free and uh, let's get started so once you download the, the software uh, install it and you will have you will be prompted to install the Riva Tuner Statistics server you must have this one as well so install this one and be careful because you ain't gonna receive like a um, shortcut on a desktop you will have to go in the in the folder where you install it and get the shortcut on your desktop just to have it uh, you know in handy and now let's get to the serious uh, serious matter in hand so how do we get to this kind of uh, setup that we have here uh, we are in Far Cry 5 uh, the game in the uh, window mode so we can see the you know what we're doing first of all you go here so you make sure you are running uh, this ones both in the same time MSI Afterburner and uh, the Riva statistic, you know, this one, Riva Tuner statistic. And once you have this one, just go here, settings, you see this, uh, this wheel here, and press that one. And from here, you can customize how you want to show, uh, what you want to show in this, uh, in this uh, side of the panel. So monitoring. Uh, from here you can select and add whatever you like but I will advise you to keep it like simple the things that are the most important to you because once you add like a lot of them there is let's say a performance um, penalty as well because when you have I don't know more than uh, eight cores and you want to display like everything temperature cpu temperature for all eight cores or cpu usage for all uh, eight cores is a lot of stuff that is not really necessary so you can select whatever you want but you know just keep it uh, keep it simple and whenever you select something is not sufficient to just let's say select uh, select this one you have to go here show in on-screen display and you know select this one as well what else uh, let's see on this side here because there are a lot of questions how do I start it so you have here video capture and you must um, how do I call it your shortcut how you activate uh, the recording so for me is alt plus uh, Q but to be honest I've noticed, at least in my case, there's a FPS drop, significant FPS drop, whenever I record with MSI Afterburner. So for me, it's much better to to um, to record this with um, with the software that we have built in Windows 10, and that can be activated very easily with uh, the Windows key from the from the uh, keyboard plus G so press the Windows key plus G and you will have this thing appearing and from here you can just do you know this one recording capturing and now the capturing the recording started and there you go and the video you will find it probably in uh, in your videos in the default uh, default folder it's very easy to find but I'm telling you there's a significant uh, um, difference in uh, in frame uh, frames per second whenever I uh, and I'm gonna give you an example whenever I record with uh, MSI Afterburner uh, I get a frame drop with around uh, 10 frames per second let's say and uh, whenever I record with uh, Windows uh, uh, software I get half of that so only five frames less than what I supposed to you know to to get so much better with the uh, with this one with Windows uh, recorder so these are the easy uh, steps that you have to take for for this kind of uh, setup 
and of course you know okay apply this kind of uh, things so what else can I what tricks and oh yes for the audio just in case something is not working you have here in video capture properties as well so if you go down you have this one's so audio source this one uh, will tell you from where the video takes the sound like the sound of the you know the uh, the game that you're playing so this is you should select wasabi playback uh, playback device and this one's um, you just try depending on the you know the system that you have and your uh, audio uh, setup you select one of uh, one of that one and then this so this is the sound that you're capturing and this is the sound that you import like you know your voice and uh, the systems that you're using to record your voice so we have direct sound capture device this this is a must select and this one you have to select your microphone of course okay apply and it should work if for any reason it doesn't work just put like auto select auto select but uh, try to do uh, you know the things manually and uh, normally it should work now what else in the video properties as well here I will advise you to increase this you see 100 quality it's um, it's recommendable but to be honest again the video quality that you will get with the uh, Windows recorder I think is better than uh, what you get with the uh, MSI of the burner uh, different codecs different way of uh, recording and uh, so on so uh, this MSI afterburner is good because you have like a lot of options uh, what to display in matter of uh, you know what to display on your on your screen over here but in matter of recording and uh, the quality of the um, the video quality of the recording is not that great so you can choose something else you can choose even Nvidia shadow play you know just to record the the video or the Windows uh, how I told you uh, the Windows key plus G so yeah that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next one and yes you'll have the link uh, with the with the software in the description below thank you see you next time